placement or four years. That's the amount of time I had given myself to execute my plan to achieve my goals of becoming a pilot and completing a four-year bachelor's degree. Like most people, when I came up with this plan, I did not consider nor could I have foreseen the many disruptive elements I was sure to encounter. I could not have foreseen having to go to war. I could not have foreseen being deployed twice, each time for six months. I could not have anticipated performing so well in my military training that I was offered and I accepted a promotion. <clears throat> in exchange for accepting that, prom that promotion, I had to add one additional year to my first enlistment of four years. I could not have foreseen having difficulties in learning how to land a plane. And I most certainly did not see, nor did I appreciate the challenges associated with trying to raise a family while serving in the US Navy and trying to execute my plan to achieve these two goals. Under the onslaught of these unanticipated challenges, I began to doubt myself. Fear began to set in. I began to question whether or not I had made a poor choice. Am I doing enough? Is there anything else I should be doing? At times, it felt as though I was carrying the world on my shoulder with no one to help me and no way to turn. What kept me motivated, what kept me, what kept me moving forward during this trial in time was an absolute belief in myself, in my ability to execute the plan I had started. And I was never going to give up. I was never not going to finish it. I also maintained a constant vision of where I am and where I was going. It's, it's difficult while you're going through these challenges to fully appreciate how important they are in helping you to develop into the person you need to be in order to occupy the space you want to occupy. I did not appreciate the importance of those challenges. I saw them as unwanted and unwelcome intrusions into my plan. As time went on, even today, I've grown to appreciate those challenges for they have afforded me the ability to discover my strengths, my weaknesses, areas of needed improvement, and how do I go about improving on the areas I needed to work on. I credit those experiences for making me the person I am today. It's plans are great. They're inspiring. They give you a way to move forward. It is a logical step-by-step -step way to get from where you are to where you want to be. However, in developing a plan and in executing it, you should be mindful that it will not unfold the way you imagined it would. You will go forward, you will go back, you will meander between left and right. You will feel as though you are a failure. You will, you will surely encounter setbacks. But all these elements are meant to make you stronger. They are meant to test your resolve. If you are truly passionate about the goals you're trying to achieve, if you truly believe in the plan you have set forth, you will be able to overcome any challenges or any unwelcome setbacks you are sure to encounter. It took me eight years to finally achieve my goals of becoming a pilot and completing a four-year degree. 
at the end of it, I didn't feel disappointed. I felt a great sense of accomplishment and I got through it being a better person than I was when I started it. If you like this video, don't forget to share it. Don't forget to subscribe. And that's it for this one. See you guys in the next one. Until then, be good.